Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best Logitech keyboards in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. Logitech K400 Plus The K400 Plus is thin and lightweight, measuring 0.9 by 14 by 5.5 inches and weighing 0.6 pounds. The keyboard earns its all-in-one moniker by replacing the 10-key numeric pad found in full-size keyboards with a large touchpad. The result is a wireless keyboard that comes full with a clickable pad, thus eliminating the need for a wireless mouse. As somebody who has hustled with lots of wireless mice on the couch while trying to get a flat surface for position pointing, I think this is the most notable improvement. This keyboard uses a wireless receiver that's plugged into a TV or PC's USB port and facilitates direct connection to the K400 Plus, as well as other compatible devices. When not in use, the dongle can be shelved in the keyboard's battery compartment, and the keyboard comes with two pre-installed AA batteries. Installing the Logitech K400 Plus is very straightforward. It's a matter of plugging the dongle into an available USB port and voila, it'll automatically install the requisite software and you're ready to go. The Logitech K400 Plus is an inexpensive wireless keyboard that's a good choice for anyone looking for a value wireless keyboard for living room media consumption. It has a built-in touchpad, something that you don't get in most budget wireless keyboard since most come as a wireless combo, mouse and keyboard plus dongle. Its keys are more closely spaced than those of the TK830 wireless all-in-one, and the K400 Plus's touchpad is much smaller. Number 4. Logitech G910 Orion The Spectrum is nearly identical in appearance to the Orion Spark. It still features the same full-size keyboard layout, complete with a 10-key number pad, ARX smartphone dock, dedicated media controls, 9 macro keys, and 3 swappable profile keys. It also keeps Logitech's proprietary Roma G mechanical switches and a 113-key rollover. At first glance, you might even wonder if there was a point in changing the name of the G910 from Spark to Spectrum. The second change in design is the Spectrum's removable wrist rest. The Spark's asymmetrical texture design is wider on the left and narrower on the right. The Spectrum doesn't bother with trying to be fancy. The wrist rest is straight, smooth and simple. As a result, the Spectrum measures 1.4 by 19.8 by 8.2 inches and weighs 3.3 pounds, shallower and lighter than the Spark, 1.4 by 19.8 by 9.5 inches, 4.5 pounds. The Roma G switches are designed to have a softer, lighter action than most, which brings them directly up against the Rockat's rubber dome technology. The Rockat isn't mechanical, but its membrane design promises softer, quieter typing than mechanical units. The Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum makes a strong case for eliminating excess. The slimmer wrist rest and flatter keycaps are small but meaningful changes that improve the overall typing or gaming experience and allow the Spectrum's excellent lighting to take center stage. Number 3. Logitech MX Keys The MX Keys is built on a single metal plate, giving it a durability that would seem to make it an ideal mobile accessory. You'll think twice about tossing it in your gear bag, though, once you feel the full weight of its nearly 1.8 pounds. The keyboard is actually best suited for your desktop, where its heft keeps it from shifting and sliding under typing force. Both the MX Keys and the MX Master 3 mouse connect your computer via the Logitech Unifying Receiver. Just plug this dongle into a free USB-A port on your PC or Mac, and the computer should recognize the keyboard instantly. Like the MX Master 3 mouse, the keyboard can be customized with Logitech Options software. Once you download it, you can remap any of the functional media keys, as well as the calculator, screen capture, lookup and lock keys by selecting it from a graphic image and choosing from a list of shortcut options. The software also lets you see what devices are paired with each easy switch, manage on-screen notifications and enable or disable battery saving mode. Of particular note to Mac users is an option to always keep the keyboard in Mac layout. The MX Keys is easily one of the best wireless keyboards I've ever used. Like the MX Master 3, it's an expensive peripheral, but well worth the investment for power users who are finicky about their peripherals. Number 2. Logitech G Pro The G Pro looks like what would happen if Logitech were to take one of its sleek Orion keyboards and simply chop off the numpad with some kind of high-tech paper cutter. 
It has a full selection of keys, minus the numpad, in addition to a key that controls the lighting and one that activates a game mode. If you're not familiar with game mode, it prevents you from clicking keys such as Alt-Tab or the Windows button so that you won't accidentally shut down your game midway. Gamers who've used other recent Logitech keyboards know what they're in for with the G Pro. The keyboard makes use of the company's ubiquitous Roma G mechanical switches. If you've never tried them before, they feel like Cherry MX Browns, tactile and fairly quiet. While Cherries are the standard to beat, Roma Gs are supposed to be a hair faster, more responsive and more durable, so you could do much worse. Taken on their own merits, they're pretty comfortable. The Logitech G Pro runs on the Logitech gaming software, which as usual is excellent. You can program the F1 through F12 keys as well as adjust the backlighting and keep track of your stats, where your fingers spend the most time, how often you press buttons and so forth. If you want a small mechanical keyboard that's suitable for the tournament scene and you don't want to sacrifice comfort or performance, the Logitech G Pro is the one you should get. Number 1. Logitech G915 the Logitech G915 is a very nice-looking low-profile mechanical gaming keyboard that has dedicated macro keys, full RGB lighting, multi-device pairing, and more. It really is an exceptional keyboard for gaming. It's extremely responsive, and it has the programmable macro keys, which are amazing. It is a pretty large keyboard, and it has a metal frame along with hard plastic on the back. Moving on, I should mention that the company has designed a new set of switches that look great along with the Roma G switches that deliver an amazing experience. It has an aluminium bolt and it's very lightweight, which means that you can carry it with you wherever you want. It has a very durable build and it'll last you a long time. The keycaps are made out of plastic and they have a low profile, which makes the keyboard look very cool. One of the best things about this keyboard is the new GL switches, and there are three types of GL switches that you can choose from. The GL Tactile is great for gamers and in general for typists, the GL Linear switches are better for successive keystrokes, and the GL Clicky switches deliver a pretty amazing experience. If you're looking for a wireless keyboard built specifically for the couch, then you're going to need an integrated pointing device in a living room friendly size. The G915 may not have many bells and whistles, but it accomplishes just that for an affordable price. Buying Guide Firstly, keystrokes or switches. Make sure you check the keystrokes the first thing when you're buying a computer keyboard. You don't want to go and end up with a keyboard that feels like a typewriter, which will literally give you a hard time. Check and test how the keys feel. There are keyboards that have sensitive, soft, feather-like touch, and there are others that require some extra pressure to type on. Secondly, design. The design and architecture of the keyboard make a big difference in your computing experience. Based on design, the keyboards can be grouped into standard, gaming, and ergonomic. Standard keyboards are the most common types. These days, standard keyboards come with multimedia keys besides the standard set of 104 keys. Gaming keyboards are for the purpose of gaming, which incorporate the multimedia keys as well as other special keys for gaming. And thirdly, compatibility. Most keyboards nowadays connect to the computer via USB ports. The old PS2 ports are almost obsolete. Wireless keyboards connect to the system via Bluetooth and are somewhat tricky to set up, unlike the plug-and-play USB cord keyboard. Most keyboards need some software installed on your computer to use the function keys. Make sure the keyboard is compatible with your system before you actually buy one. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.